Hey, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. We got some darker clouds rolling through. They're not really dropping any rain on us, which would be nice if they did. And all it's really doing is blocking out the sun from catching any really significant solar. But we're getting some. But I am having to chase the power around a little bit. And I'll show you how I do that. All in all, not a bad day. So this is 1,000 watts worth of solar panels, which is what I use to drive the main house most of the time. So I'm back on the main house system right here. And for the past few days, uh, this battery bank keeps going down, down, down because of the intermittent sunshine I've been getting. Yesterday morning it was at 20%, which is as low as I let my batteries go in general, uh, even though I could drain them completely without really hurting them. Once they get down to 20%, uh, I switch over to uh, a backup system. And right here I am in on the second day now, it, this 600 amp hour uh, battery bank is now up to 53% full. I'm not going to be running any loads off of this the rest of the day and see if we can get it up fairly full. And just as a reminder, uh, that solar panel array that I showed you at the beginning of this video is a thousand watts and I've got 500 watts coming in uh, to each separate string with the Victron solar charge controllers, 100 volt, 50 amp controllers. Um, with the intermittent sunshine, I mean, we're charging today. It's definitely not going to get up to 100% full. But just giving it a chance to catch back up and let the other system run the house. And that main house system that I showed you in the back is a 12 volt system. So I've turned the household on to this 48 volt Power Queen battery, 90 amp hours. It's got 700 watts of solar coming in. The charge controller on this 48 volt system is the uh, Victron Smart Solar Charge Controller, the MPPT15035. And the inverter is a 48 volt, 3000 watt pure sine wave inverter from Reliable Electric. Uh, I have the same brand in the back. It's a 3000 watt pure sine wave, but 12 volt. So I've just switched over the 12 volt system to this uh, backup 48 volt system. And now that I've been running the 48 volt system for the past couple of days, giving that uh, Chins battery pack a chance to get up to full, you can see I'm charging, running the entire household at 60%. And typically this uh, 48 volt is usually pretty full, but I've been draining a little bit while I'm running everything the past couple of days, but it keeps up quite nicely. And taking a quick peek at what's coming in for that 48 volt battery, 700 watts worth of panels out there. Uh, right now, catching a nice sunburst, 640 watts going into that. Uh, well exceeding what my household is drawing at the moment by quite a bit. So that, that battery, while running the entire house, is actually being charged, which is the way I like to build my system. So yeah, it's looking real good, 640 watts coming in. And a quick look at the log for the past week or so on that. You can see it was always getting up at least into absorption, if not float for the most of the time, but for the past two days, uh, as you can see right there, um, you know, these last two bars here, you know, I'm not getting up to absorption because I'm using it a lot more, but it's working for its intended purposes, running the house, letting my 12 volt system charge up. So it's just kind of the way I have to chase power around occasionally. And now bounced back into the Chins uh, battery pack here, 54.9% full. You can see 200 and, well, and you can see how the clouds roll in, drop the wattage down. You can look down here at the network total power since I've got both of those strings and charge controllers tied in. So out of a thousand watts possible, 
I'm, you know, fluctuating between whatever it is when the clouds are rolling through 383 right there. And now it jumps way back up. The clouds roll out. Now the string, both strings, 900 watts, then down to 500. So <laughs> chasing the power around a little bit. And that's why, you know, this battery pack has not got up to a full charge in the past couple of days. You know, you get a second or two of full power, and then here we are now, 100 watts off of a 500 watt string. And the other string is doing about the same, 203 watts total. So uh, this is how it goes, but uh, this is why I like the redundancy of having a backup system. So I like these to get, you know, a higher charge, 20%. Once they get down to a 20% charge, I give them a rest, let them charge back up. And it's just a simple, uh, as moving some uh, cords around and switching the house over from one system to another just to keep the batteries humming along the way I like. So yeah, not the best of conditions, but doing fine. And one more look at the 48 volt uh, battery and it's out of 700 watts, only 133 watts coming in right now. So yeah, so the sun's been going down, of course, for almost three months from its high point of the year. And it's starting to catch, you know, different um, little bits of shade at different times of the day. So I have my systems all overbuilt for that, but I still, depending on how the situation is out here, I still have to bounce it around between one system to the other to keep everything just humming along perfectly. So yeah, not fantastic on a 700 watt a string of panels, but doing okay. And, you know, I have no idea what this will get up to today on the 48 volt battery, but even if it was to stop right now, which of course it won't, um, I've got enough to run this house easily on 60% uh, power or 60% capacity left in that battery. I could run, I will be able to run this all night and I won't get down to that 20% where I would switch it over. So it's probably gonna keep up pretty well. And by the time I deplete this down to where I like to switch it over, the other one will be ready to go. I do love these 48 volt batteries. They are just so amazing. And you know, I, I could tie up double the amount of uh, solar that I'm running on that now easily uh, to where in reality, this one battery could easily run the house uh, probably most of the year, especially if I had doubled up the panels. But yeah, I've just got 700 watts of power coming into that and a thousand on the back. Now I really haven't had to chase power around uh, much for the past six months because the sun, you know, was at its highest point and, you know, we got great conditions over paneled so all systems were full most of the time it's only now after three months of the sun going down almost three months that there you know there is a noticeable change and i'm gonna have to jockey uh, the power situation around a little bit but it's not a big deal and uh, so yeah that's why i like a little redundancy i've always got a full system ready to go so Winter's coming, <laughs> and we'll see. Aloha, everybody. Yeah, just how it goes. Clouds, sun, clouds, and sun. <laughs>